I bet Bree has missed you like crazy. Why don't you uh, call Renee and let her know we're back? I'll go get her. We'll let her sleep. Get her in the morning. Yeah, you're right. You want to check in with Vicky before we call it a night? No. My mom and Charlie need their uh, space right now. Your mom always has time for you. I'm sure she's been waiting to hear how you're I doing. I can't. I can't see you tonight. Not with how I feel about Mitch. Being alive and being my... I can't. Besides, the person everybody should be worried about is my sister. We're all thinking about what we can do for Natalie, and nobody's gonna stand by and let her suffer. She has to suffer. She doesn't have a choice. But I know what she's gonna do. She's gonna get mad. And act like she doesn't need to take care of, but she does. We'll take care of her. We'll do for her what people should have done for you when Nash died. Nobody's gonna let Natalie down, or you either. It's not about me. Yeah, it is. You and Jared got close. You must have if you made him Chloe's godfather. He was part of your family. Someone you could count on. You're allowed to hurt. No. I'm not. I'm not. I still have the man I love. And Natalie doesn't. Just burn... I know everything must seem so dark and messed up right now, but I can just hear Dr. Levin saying, whatever you're feeling, it's okay. Just, just let it out. I'm tired. I just want to go to sleep. Okay. Let's get you in some PJs. Uh, will it be... Oh, we got satin or cotton. And I'll stay awake until you fall You don't asleep. have to do that. I want you to know that you're safe. And I'm not going anywhere. Now let's get you out of those clothes. Actually, um, I, I just... I want to unpack my suitcase. I just, I, I hate packed suitcases lying around, you know? It's just, it's a pet peeve of mine, okay? I just need everything where it belongs. Jess? Quit hovering, okay? I'm not broken. You don't need to fix me. I let it out. Are you, are you happy? It's a start. Why are you doing this to me? Because I think it'll help. Does, would it help if I tell you how grateful I am that you weren't the one that got shot? If that's how you feel. That I'm not hurting the way Natalie is. That I am so grateful that I came back from Napa with my life still intact. <laughs> Natalie's husband is dead. Charlie lost his son. Wait. And Charlie wouldn't want you to feel any other way. What about you? You lost your relationship with your sister. I'll get through it. Y you lost the relationship with your one relative that you had left, and you're just going to get through it? Yeah. You know why? Because you. It is not wrong to be grateful that you dodged a bullet. And just because we survived doesn't mean we made it through without a scratch. I know you're hurting. I'm hurting too. So let me take care of you. The way you'll take care of me.
honor your father. But that's all right. With my guidance, you will learn contrition. I look forward to seeing you again and meeting my beautiful little granddaughter. Is Victoria having Christmas this year? In the Lord's name, Dad. Address this to my daughter, Jessica. Mail it to her immediately. I want her to know that she is always foremost in my mind. Even caged. My freedom threatened. She is my sole concern. Thank you for your assistance. Go with God. And heed the messenger.